So you've gotten your braille display hooked up, but it's not showing contractions. What do you do? Well, today I'm gonna show you how to adjust your braille settings using JAWS, and that's right here on Tech Tip Tuesday. So there are quite a few reasons why you might need to adjust the braille settings in JAWS, but today we are going to talk about how to adjust the braille that appears on your display. This might be something you need to do if you'd like to switch from contracted to uncontracted braille, or vice versa, you might want to switch from uncontracted to contracted braille. Or if you're doing some sort of coding, it might be helpful to view that code in computer braille. If you are in any of those situations, you're in the right place because today we're going to talk about how to switch the braille code that actually appears on your display when using JAWS. So let's get JAWS open and make some adjustments. So I have JAWS open here on my computer. I have my Braille viewer up so you can see what's going on. And I have my Braille display connected in front of me just to make sure what I'm doing is correct. In this case, I have a learner who is new to learning Braille. So I wanna make sure that her display is set to show uncontracted Braille before she learns all of those contractions. I'm gonna be using the key commands for this process, but if you're a sighted instructor setting this up for a learner, you can always use your mouse. So first, I'll make sure my program focus is focused on JAWS. That's Alt plus Tab. JAWS Professional Dash Subscription. Then I'm gonna to go to our Options menu. Now, if you know our pattern, Menus Use Alt, this is gonna be a good time to practice that. So let's practice, you ready? For the options menu, what would the key command be? That's right, Alt plus O for options. Let me do that now. Alt O, options menu, basics dot dot dot. Now I'm going to use my arrow keys to get to Braille. And of course, when I get there, press Enter. Voices submenu, V, Braille dot dot dot, L. Enter, leaving menus, Braille basic settings dialog. All right, so then the Braille Settings dialog box pops up. Just to note, this is the box that you'll need to go to set up your learner's display. But let's say my display is connected, which it is, I'm only gonna be worried about adjusting the settings for my display. Well, in this case, I'll tab over to the Advanced button, and again, press Enter. Modify settings dot dot, add Braille display dot dot dot, but advanced dot 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 button. Once I do, JAWS will open up the Settings Center dialog. Now, this is where you can access pretty much all of JAWS's advanced settings. But of course, since I came here through the Braille Options dialog, it has dropped me in the Braille Settings portion. So before I start moving around in this dialog box, I want to note that this uses something called a tree view navigation. This means that although visually we have this whole main content area in the middle with buttons and drop down menus, screen reader users will be changing all of the settings in this side panel over here. Again, if you're a sighted instructor, feel free to use your mouse on this main content area. Now I'm going to be accessing the tree view navigation in this video, but if you'd like more information on how to access a tree view like this, take a look at the blog post connected to this video. In that post, we go through the tree view navigation step by step. All right, so to change my display settings from contracted to uncontracted braille, I'm first gonna move down to general. Level one, general. Open that up. General, open. Move to translation. Level 2. Translation closed. Translation open. And then move to Output. Level 3. Language English dash United States. Output Unified English Braille Grade 2. Now Output is the Braille that is actually shown to your learner on their display. I'll change mine to Unified English Braille Grade 1, although you can change yours to whatever suits you or your learner. Let me do it now. Space. Computer Braille. Space. U.S. English Grade 1, space, U.S. English Grade 2, space, Unified English Braille Grade 1, 4 of 5. Then we're going to move to Input. This option controls what Braille code your user will type with. Again, I'm going to choose the same option, UEB Grade 1, but again, choose the option that best fits you. Input Computer Braille, space, 
Unified English Braille Grade 1. I'm going to tab to OK. Press Enter. Read only edit. Select Apply button to activate OK button to activate press space bar. Enter. Braille Basic Settings dialog. Now I'm back in my Braille Basic Settings dialog, so again, I need to tab to OK. Show Braille Load Error Check. Run JAWS Without Speech Check. OK button to activate press. Press Enter. Enter. And that's it. You can see that the Braille on my Braille viewer now shows uncontracted Braille. Now, if you want to learn more about how Braille displays work with computers and screen readers like JAWS, you need to check out our brand new course in the screen reader curriculum called Diving Into Braille Displays. Now, this course guides you and your learner through questions like, do I even need a Braille display? How do I connect my Braille display to my computer? And of course, how do I read web pages and documents and edit using my new display? Now, this curriculum is included with our all access subscription, which for a limited time is only $10 per month for teachers. Now, get your school year started off right. Click the link in the description for more information, and we'll see you next week right here for another Tech Tip Tuesday. <laughs>